Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make this logo reveal effect. Once you have dropped your clip, duplicate it twice. Rename them in order, first I will rename to, animated, second, clean, and the last one rename to, original. Toggle off animated and original layers. Select a clean and we have to mask out the logo and then remove it from a car. Grab a pen tool and draw a mask around the badge. Now press M on your keyboard and change mask mode to, subtract. Right click on mask 1 and select, track mask, then go to tracker and track the mask forward. Once tracking is done, go to content aware fill tab. If you don't see it there, go to window and enable it. Copy my settings and then click on, generate fill layer. This will remove the badge from a car. Nice. Move fill layer below the animate layer, then toggle on animated and original layers. Select animated layer and this time we have to mask the badge perfectly. For perfect mask and tracking, I will use Mocha AE. In Mocha, grab a pen tool and let's mask the badge perfectly. Once you have finished masking, click on perspective button and then click on track button. As the tracking is done, click on save and close the Mocha AE. Now expand matte and select, apply matte, add a feather a bit. Now let's make an animation like from JRY's video. Add a linear wipe effect to animated layer. Let's quickly adjust the wipe. I will change wipe angle to negative 90. Now change transition completion until you don't see the badge, then click on transition stopwatch icon. Now go to very end of the video and change transition completion, make a logo fully revealed. Nice, let's add a feather a bit to smooth the edges. That's better now. Let's check JRY's video. In his video he used a Rays plugin from a Sapphire, S Rays. Since it's a paid plugin, I will make this video with a free plugin called, God Rays, I will leave a download link in the description. Expand input and quality. Change quality to extreme. Make sure mode is set to zoom. Set threshold smooth to 100%. Now play around with style amounts. Note, my settings can be different, cause videos are not the same. Play around with settings until it makes you happy. Nice, let's animate rays now. Go to very beginning of the video and click on position stopwatch icon. Move anchor point something like this at the beginning. Then go to very end of the video and change anchor point all the way to right. Check the video and if rays needs to be fixed. Adjust anchor at beginning and at the ending. That's better for me. You asked me to do more of JRY's edits, so more edits are coming soon, stay tuned. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.